welcome to another 8-bit adventure where I look at 8-bit games pretty much from the 80s, games I've never really played before and see if they're any good now and if they're enjoyable and if I like them and just to show some interest for people at you at home. Today we're playing Pit Stop 2 on the C64. Uh, I know it's a racing game, I really love racing games, I'm rubbish at them, especially sort of Formula 1 related games, um, uh, but yeah, we'll have a go. So um, here we go, this is what I've done when I started the game, so we're doing Brands Hatch in England. Number of laps free, and we're doing rookie because I'm basic, so hopefully I should look good. Uh, but we'll find out. We'll find out. So, press your button. What is my button? There you go, that's my button. Press your button, let's go. Okay, I'm off. So I'm on the top, and my opponent's on the bottom, as far as I understand. How I, how I get this game going so far. Um... Now, reading the bump just on the C64 mini site, it's like, you know, it's very realistic. Watch the colour of your tyres, your fuel level, and all that lot. Make sure you have pit stops. Um, I have no idea how to do pit stops and really what's going to, you know, look at my tyres. Are they going to change different colours? Whoa, where are you going, yellow car? Um, but we're going to have a jolly good race, see if it's any good. I've got to catch up with the blue car to start with, haven't I? Because they're a bit ahead of me. 188, are we doing, is this miles per hour? Or is it kilometers per hour? I think it's got to be kilometers, kilometers, can't speak. Um, I was just passing that car, I didn't have a huge accident. If I was going even that speed, you think I'd have a huge accident? Um, he's blocking a road, middle of a lane driver. Okay, so fuel-wise, I seem to be all right. It's only lap one. Haven't got... How far of a lap have I got? Okay, I've got a bit of a lap left, haven't I? I'm going to halfway round. I'm still on the track. I mean, pretty much, I can't fall off a track, so it's a good game for that, isn't it? Because I'm just bashing against the side of a track. Uh, unless, when you're out of rookie mode, it gets harder, and you don't do that. But I think that's nice. It's enjoyable. You just I'm just concentrating on going fast, really, at the minute. Now, my tyres are going a bit purpley. Does that mean the colours change and they're too hot? Or is that just some reflective thing? I've got a green bit on that tyre. Is this the tyre damage? Interesting. I'm very impressed if it is for like a, such an old game to show me the difference. Yeah, because one's sort of blue, one's sort of purple, isn't it? Right, okay. We can just floor it now and get to high speed. Because we're coming up to the start line again. Where's the pit stops? And more importantly, how do I do one? Is that a pit stop? Oh, I just drove into it and that's pit stop. Oh, God, I've got... Oh, right, what am I doing? Did I do anything? There was a man there to fuel me. I don't think he did anything, personally. I just faffed about. So we'll class that as a slow pit stop. That wouldn't have got me very far in Formula 1, would it? I'll be back right down the grid. It's not really telling me my positions, is it, as well? So, I mean, I can't ask for too much, can I, have an old game, really? But it's not really telling me that. I take it you're just racing against that one person. Um, yeah. I'm feeling I should, before I do this video, to at least read some general instructions of what's going on, because it would be good. But I got too excited. I went, this is a car racing game. Let's just play it and see what happens. I'm thinking, see, the different coloured tyres have changed, so that that's pretty cool as a mechanic, if that's showing you how bad your tyres are. I have no idea what blue or turquoise colour means. You know, it's not like it's gone red, like, really bad. Um, oh, now, now it's gone red. I'm concluding that red means my tyre is pretty bad. I think it's a pretty fair assumption. We'll soon find out if I get a blowout. But I'll try not to hit that tyre that much. Oh, but... He says, get out of the way, you orange thing. Look, he's even running into me. Ah, oh, look, both my tyres are red now. That one's having a fuel stop. Oh, so you just click on the people and they do stuff. Okay, so he knows what he's doing in his pit stop. Right, well, let's see if we can make it round to the pits without dying. Crashing. Oh, he's having a long pit stop. Are you just, are you taking a mick? Oh, look, now my back tire's blue. My front one's gone yellow. I thought red would have been worse. But clearly yellow's bad as well. That's quite confusing. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So we're coming down the main pit straight. So I want to be on this side. 
so I can dive into the pits and we'll try and figure out a pit stop because I didn't read any instructions come on yellow yeah stay on my way right let's get ready for the pits is the start finish line pits okay right so you do something oh do I just okay he's filling me up with fuel okay I don't need that much fuel do it tires oh my god mate what are you doing do something can I click here tires tires okay mate this is gonna be an exciting race in a minute because he's, he's gonna pick up a tire for me pick up a pick up a tire pick up a tire pick up a tire do something with a tire I'm, I'm fueled up okay I've got this man Did he do anything oh I just lead him straight to the tire oh okay um how do I put the tire down Oh, mate, I've got one tyre. <laughs> My God. Right, you. Drop the tyre. Put the tyre down. Swap the, swap the tyre. Okay, do you want to go and swap for this tyre? Well, I can't go racing because I need a tyre. And at the minute, a mechanic's just taken my tyre off. And now I can't put it down. Well, where the... I tell you what, should we stick the same tyre back on? Yes. Is, is he emptied my fuel and keeps refueling me? Right, you get off my tyres. I think they've won. Stop stop filling my car up. Right, you stand away. You definitely stand away from my tyres. Can I get out? Can I get out? How do I get out? We're back out. I mean, they finished the race and I've got bad tyres. So, in conclusion of this game, as we try and get round the lap really slowly on damaged tyres. Well, no, we replaced that tyre. It looks better, that tyre now, doesn't it? But all he did was took it off and put it back on again. I'm not going very quick. There you go. Um, let's see if we can get round without falling apart, really, isn't it? That guy's finished, but let's try and finish the race. Um... So in conclusion, that was a bit confusing. I guess I should have really read the instruction book how to do a pit stop, especially how the guy changes my tyre, because that would have been useful. I mean, what was he doing? I pressed a button, and he, like, picked it up, and then he took it off, and I was like, well, where am I supposed to place it? Oh, my tyre's gone, and I've crashed. Did not finish. A, did not finish, because... Eh, he did not finish, because his tyre broke. Uh... Anyway, I just did quite enjoy that. I'd have another go at that and keep playing with that. It's just figuring out what I had to do in the pit stops for starters. And I did really like the way the tyres changed colour. That was a very good mechanic. I'm pretty impressed with that for like uh, an 8-bit sort of computer game. That's really good. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Um, tell me if you could do better. I'm sure you could. And all that jazz. Like, subscribe if you like these sort of things. And I'll make some more of these videos. Uh, but until next time, bye-bye.